In this lesson, we're going to learn about the verbs that are represented by the word langu. This is a very important class of verbs, and that's why we're going to be learning this one first. And we're going to start simple by just uh, going over the past tense only. Okay, so the vangu verbs are um, a very important class because they make up approximately 50% of all verbs in the language. Uh, so that's that's the lion's share, and if you learn these verbs well, you'll be well onto your way to learning all the verbs. So let's just give a few quick examples of verbs uh, that are represented by this class of bongo verbs. Uh, so let's say there's uh, something that you put into your mouth. Um, you can uh, then close your mouth, and the verb for close is muru. Uh, then you can um, swallow what you put into your mouth. And the verb for swallow is vrlungu. In spoken Tamil, a lot of people will say vrlungu. Uh, they'll actually pronounce the V as, as mu. It may not taste very good, in which case uh, you spit the rest of it out. And the word for spit out is tupu. Or it may be really hot and uh, causes you to scream. And the word for scream is katu. And all of these verbs are conjugated exactly like the word the word vangu. Alright, so let's see exactly how this is conjugated. We're going to start with these uh, pronouns here on the left side. And the reason is that each pronoun conjugates the verb differently in the past tense. So let's just uh, do a quick review of what these pronouns mean. Non means I. It's a direct uh, equivalent to English. Ni is you. Avan, he. Avar, she. Avar, this uh, single person, either he or a she. And uh, when you use this word, avar, you're implying that uh, you're giving some additional respect to that person. Nam and nangal, they both mean we. And uh, we've gone over in previous lesson what the difference is between the two and when you use one versus the other. Ningal can have two meanings. They can either mean you, singular, a single person with additional respect, or it can mean you all. So you're addressing a group of people, you would use the word ningar. And then the last pronoun, avarhal, means they. Okay, so how, if we have the verb vangu, which means buy, how would you say, I bought? And the way you would say it is non Vangi name. So we'll just go through how to conjugate Wangu with several of these pronouns and we'll stop and just take a look and see what we're what we're getting. So Vangi name. Ni you bought would be ni Vangi nai. Vangi nai. He bought Avan Vanginan Vanginan and uh, she bought Avar Vanginar Vanginar. You could probably guess what's coming next for Avar. It's Vanginar. Vanginar. Okay, now to the plural, plural pronouns. Nam or Nangal for we bought is Vanginom. Vanginom. For Ningal, you all bought is Vangi Nirhal. 
வாங்கினீர்கள் And for our hal, just look at avan, avar, and avar, vanginan, vanginal, vanginar. The only difference between avar and avar hal is the karl ending, the plural ending. And the only difference between avar vanginar and avar hal vanginar hal is the plural ending. Alright, so let's do. A bird's eye view of all of these verbs that we just conjugated here. We'll write it more neatly and take a look at them more closely. Okay, for point one, I want everyone to notice that all of these vowels at the end are long vowels. Nain, Wanginai, Wanginan, Wanginar. Vanginar, Vanginom, Vanginirhal, and Vanginarhal. So at the end, long vowels, or the word in uh, Tamar for a long vowel is Nedil. Nedil. Next thing to notice, and which you probably have already noticed, is that every single one of these verbs begins with the root verb. So Vanga is what begins all of these verbs. The big difference though is that vanga gets changed a little bit. The ku in vanga gets changed to ki for every single one of these verbs. Another thing to notice which uh, we briefly pointed out on the previous page, avan, avar, and avar differ only by the last letter. So he, she, and then he or she with respect. And with the verbs vanginan, Vanginar and Vanginar, the same difference applies. The last letter is what differentiates all of these. Similarly, Avarhal, plural for he or she, which is written in English as they, also differs from these three by the last uh, letters, the Kal, plural ending. And with Ningal, uh, I just want to make the point, it's vanginirhal, so this E matches this E. Shouldn't be too hard to remember. Okay, so let's, uh, let's conjugate a few more verbs that are like vangu and see how that goes. Alright, so another verb that's like vangu is the verb for to run, which you may already know is oru. And if we want to say I ran, past tense, Vangu became Vanginain, Oru becomes Ordinain. Non Ordinain, I ran. You ran, past tense. Vangu for ni is Vanginai, so Oru for ni, ni Ordinai. Avan, Vanginan. Avan, ordinan. Ordinan. And just like with vangu, the first part of the verb is the same. The u at the end changes to e for every single verb. And then these this last part of the verb, vanginain, ordinain. Vanginai, ordinai. Vanginan, ordinan. That remains unchanged. For any verb that gets conjugated in the past tense with these Vangu verbs. So let's fill in the rest of this chart quickly. Aval Vanginar, Aval Ordinar. Aval Vanginar, Aval Ordinar. And then you guys. Uh, who are watching, go ahead and say out loud what you think is going to be coming next in these next three boxes. For Nam or Nangal, we ran. Ori Nom. You all, Mingal. Oops. Ori Nirhal. And for Avarhal, 
they pan ordinar hal and let's use a longer verb now so you guys understand exactly what's going on here the verb for play is vilayadu that's a pretty long verb compared to odu but the same rules apply if we want to say I played it's vilayadi name running out of room you played he played so we can quickly see here Bangi name from Bangu Oda became Odi name Vilayadi became Vilayadi name it's a very simple pattern the U at the end changes to E for all three of these verbs right here Oops. and then you add name for non similarly wangi nai odi nai vilayadi nai wangi nan odi nan vilayadi nan all right for avar and avar let's use a different verb let's use the verb wash like a, as if you're washing your hands karlavu karlavu so Vangu became Vanginar, Odu became Odinar, Karlavu is going to become Karlavinar. Similarly, Vanginar, Odinar, Karlavinar. And for these last three pronouns, let's use another verb. Sindhu, which means spill. We spilled. Sindhinom. Remember that U at the end gets changed to E. Sindhinom. Vanginom. Odinom. Sindhinom. Vanginirhal. Odinirhal. Sindhinirhal. And Avarhal is going to be Sindhinarhal. Banginarhal, Odinarhal, Sindhinarhal. So, based on this, 